we're going to love God. We're going to love his church, and we're going to love his world. And until Jesus comes back, that is what New Point Church is going to be about. That's what we're going to stand for. That's what we're going to exist for. That's what we believe God has put us strategically in this location to do and to accomplish for his kingdom. The cornerstone of that vision is that we have to love God. We have to love God passionately. I mean, with everything we've got, we have to love the Lord. Love is, is, is sort of a word that, that's just kind of tired. It's used so many times. We use it for all sorts of things, and it, it just feels like the more it's used, the, the more it loses its significance. You know, out of my mouth, I say I love God, and out of that same mouth, I, I say I love pizza. Man, there have been seasons and moments in my life where I have probably liked God more than I have loved God. He says this in response. He says, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your mind. If you aren't in your word, if you don't have a developed prayer life, if, if you aren't creating relationship with him, you, you'll find yourself focusing more on the outward appearance, on what other people see and focusing less on what God sees. In moments like that, we, we adapt to religious behavior. All religious behavior will, will ever do is just make you nice. A relationship with Jesus will make you new. I think a lot of Christians get to that fork in the road, they get to that crossroads, they get to that decision point, and you can hear them say no more. That's as far as I'm willing to go with God. So you find a lot of believers who, have, who are saved and have a relationship with God, they're headed to heaven, and yet they're not set free until my heart towards God moves from a place of like to a place of love. I will find moments and seasons in my spiritual journey where my heart is willing to throw in the towel. It doesn't matter what you're facing. It doesn't matter what you're experiencing. Some of you, man, you've come and you've had that moment in your life where you've just surrendered to God and others of you, maybe you haven't. But while you were still a long way off, your father, he saw you. His heart was filled with compassion. His heart was filled with love. And the Bible says he ran in your direction. If there is a God out there who's willing to run to me, perhaps maybe my response should be to run to him.